Okay, in this last short uh, tutorial, I just want to show you adding an image uh, within a paragraph and then letting that image float to one side or another. You can kind of create this cool kind of wrapping look. Um, text wrapping. So I'm going to click into this paragraph here, uh, like a couple sentences in. And I'm going to insert an image, just like one of our thumbnails from week four. It's like this Batman head. Okay, and then that image, I'm going to add a class to it. So after the alt tag, I'm going to click, and I'm going to write class equals. It's going to ask me, hey, do you want to use the float? And I'm going to say no, because I want to call this um, just like image. OK, and I'm going to have another property for that. Some CSS here, period, image. And I'm going to say float to the right. Okay. So now if I look at that, it should be all the way to over to the side and look not very good. So let's just take a look and see what happened. Okay. So it's all the way over here. If you wanted that for some reason, that's how you would do it. But I kind of more want it smaller. I kind of compact. So what I need to do is I need to make the paragraph. I just need to adjust the width of the paragraph. A lot of positioning as we get into it more uh, next week and this week even right now with floats. Uh, you really need to be always adjusting the width to get the desired effect. So let's go back and because that's just a regular old P. I'm going to write a rule for that. And I'm going to give it a width of, I'll keep it the same as the, well, the other ones are 400. Yeah, let's see, 400 pixels. Okay, you can already see it here. Something's going on. That might look good. Let's see. It's more what I'm looking for, though. Let's go back. I can just open the browser. Yeah, so it did that. It doesn't really look great right now. I think it needs to be a little bit smaller. But that's how you can get that effect. And then you would play with padding uh, or even a little margins. Let's try that. Let's say like 300. That looks a little bit better. Let's adjust the spacing a little bit. Uh, margin right. We don't need too much, let's say 10 pixels. Doesn't do anything. Like 20. I didn't really see anything change. Maybe it's the padding. Let's see what happens if we do padding. Should be margin. Okay, that maybe I was wrong with the right. Let's just try adding twenty overall and see what happens. A little bit. Um okay. It's being a little funky. Let me try it here. You know what? Let's try. There we go. That damn display block again. I th thought with the paragraph, though, that it would just do it, but it didn't. But that's kind of what I'm looking for. I just had to troubleshoot a little bit. 
Um, no harm in that. Okay, and it's starting to look better. Again, I can adjust the spacing and all that. But again, with that display block, um, didn't really think it would affect it if I applied it to the paragraph, but I needed to do it to the image. Anyways, um, that is a look you can apply uh, at this point if you want it to. It's kind of nice looking. Uh, it can be attractive. Again, I'd have to adjust the fonts and the spacing a little bit to make it really look good. Um, but that's, these are, you know, some kind of powerful design um, answers you can present if needed. Um, and again, it kind of gets us out of uh, the standard stacking look that we've been going for. All right, we're kind of breaking up the grid even more at this point. All right.